for me, the balance between work, hockey, and just enjoying yourself is the biggest passion. The only thing that's constant in my life is change. There's always going to be change, whether I'm finding uh, a new job or a new position. Uh, you know, I went through my uh, line painting to the Royal Bank. Now I want to start my own business, a web-based business uh, featured around wheelchairs and sports chairs as well as uh, hockey equipment for sledge hockey. When I found hockey, that was it. <laughs> I just ate it up. You know, I, I, I've uh, been on the provincial team for three years now. I train about four days a week. I'm on the ice two days a week in the pool three days a week. Uh, you know, just staying fit and active. Well, I was hurt in 1999. For the first two years, it was mostly transitional of understanding uh, what your body can and can't do anymore. After about uh, three years, I started looking into schooling again. Uh, just I had my grade 12, so it was mostly just looking for a program that would be one to two years that would be fast and easy. And I found uh, what they call the Opportunity, Opportunities Enable program. It's offered at Douglas College for people with disabilities. Uh, it's a, technically a three-year course condensed into 15 months. With the computer program, you learn everything from the very basics to you know everything from hacking to web page design. To, uh, you get a little bit of everything throughout this course. There was about three interviews that I went for uh, after my uh, 11 months of schooling. And then my second interview with the Royal Bank, they liked me, so they pretty much hired me. They didn't really, I didn't have to go through the practicum or anything, they just hired me on the spot. I was technical support, I dealt with printer problems or, you know, accessing problems or passwords. I left the Royal Bank after about two and a half years, more of a, a burnout than anything else because I got into it so hard right away, I went right back into it my first year back, I was full-time hours, doing extra hours on Saturdays, like picking up as many hours as I could. For me, the balance between work, hockey, and uh, just enjoying yourself is, is the biggest passion. You have to make sure that you don't burn yourself out and overdo yourself. That transition from you know, uh, work to play was pretty easy because I'd, I'd done the two and a half years and, and changed a couple of professions, so I knew that I could always go back to computers whenever I want. Well, I'd say just keep doing what you love and if you can't, if you're not happy at your job, then you can always move on for retraining. Nobody ever really stops learning, whether it's computers or life or, you know, anything in general. You have to keep moving forward and just keep a positive attitude. Just rely on your basic skills, you know, if you, everybody needs to go back to school at some point and whether you get retrained on something or find uh, something that applies to you, then, you know, follow your heart and don't let anybody tell you can't do it because even though, you know, we may be disabled or differently abled as I call it, but we can still do anything we want to as long as we just put our mind to it and just find a way around it.